Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over Solana really quick here. So Solana right now is trading at $158.96. In the last couple of hours or the last couple of days here, we've seen multiple, multiple red candles here. It did have that natural pullback, but because it didn't um, find support around the 20 moving average. It sliced right through it. So we could possibly see a reversal pattern here for Solana. The key thing is that if we're able to hold above our 20 or 50 MA here, if we're able to hold, then we may see that pullback come up and retest the 20 MA that was previously a good area of support, but now it is going to carry on as an area of resistance. When we take a look at our volume, profile to kind of take a look at areas of support and resistance um, going into the increase or the uptrend for Solana and all of these months dating back from March 13th we don't really see any clusters here because the price moved fairly quickly we didn't find a natural good area of support or resistance we do see these two nodes right off in here on May 26th and then June 2nd that acted as a nice support at the 161.50 cents and again we can use this area as well as an area of resistance um, back in August but because that selling pressure did um, immensely grow we did slice right through that you know short term support or that resistance here. So we are going to be using the 50 MA as an area of support here down at $154. Again, using the volume profile, we don't really see a whole lot of activity um, using it as an area of resort or resistance until the price does come up to the 169 price point or down here at the 154. And again, that is nestled right above our 50 MA. So that's going to be an area of support and it is going to be acting as an area of support in the next couple of days or so. Now, in terms of the RSI here, it is at 40 46%. It does suggest a neutral position that allows for potential movement in either direction here. This line here can easily just shift depending on, you know, the volume itself. If there is more selling pressure versus buying pressure, it can continue to go down before we are considered as oversold and we see that nice pullback in an up trend position. So the most likely scenario here, in my opinion, for Solana is if we're able to hold around the 50 MA and key or the 50% of our FIB chart and then continue to retest this as an area of resistance, we may see that pullback in an uptrend um, testing this area of resistance of our 20 MA again at 166. So let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next video.